Hey guys, so I'm super excited to bring you my second annual, so I did it last year and I'm doing it again this year, my second annual series on summer moisturizers. Um, so last year I had this idea to do a blog article um, and YouTube about um, just a bunch of summer moisturizers that I thought were like really cool, good formulas, great texture, felt comfortable on skin in really hot, humid weather. Um, and of course I had like a million moisturizer, like moisturizers I could go after. And I eventually whittled it down last year to 10 moisturizers in all. And I had, a, it was a two part series, two videos, two blog articles, five moisturizers each. And I thought, you know what? That was a nice, like, it was like a nice number. And so I didn't try to rethink it again. I just decided to do it all over again. So I have 10 new summer moisturizers this year. Uh, three are from brands that didn't even exist last summer. Two are from more uh, mainstream brands now, although I don't think either of the brands would call themselves mainstream. They're just kind of not really indie brands anymore, it seems. Um, and so let me just get right to it. I'm going to start with what I consider one of the best moisturizers in general that I've ever used. This product is super innovative, like seriously. First of all, it's from the brand, the brand called Organic The New Beauty. It's a, it just launched uh, two months ago. Uh, this product is called the Clear 1% uh, Centella Cream Serum. Um, and what's so fascinating about this product, first of all, it's obviously organic, since the name of the brand is organic. It's actually 90% organic, 100% natural. It's, um, it's clean. In fact, all my moisturizers um, in the series are clean this summer. Um, so all five moisturizers I'm talking, talking about today are clean. Um, so this one's 100% clean, but like next level clean. And I'm going to go into that in a little bit. Um, but what's really like the distinguishing characteristic that I want to call out, call out about this product is that it's also 100% skin active. So what that means is that every single ingredient in the product, 100% of the ingredients, have an active benefit for the skin. Now, you might be asking yourselves, well, isn't that what a moisturizer is? Yes, but... Um, most moisturizers, in fact, I, most skincare products, unless they're like single note serums or, or you know, a facial oil that's completely oils, think, think, just think of the category of moisturizers. There are a lot of ingredients in a moisturizer that have nothing to do with the skin. They're texture enhancers, they're preservatives, um, they're things, they're, they're dyes, even, even synthetic fragrance. That has nothing to do with, with the skin, fragrances and skincare and neither are preservatives and texture enhancers, um, emulsifiers, things that make the product blend together, um, make the ingredients blend together and work well together. Those things have nothing to do with the skin. They are not, they have no benefit whatsoever for the skin. In fact, the one ingredient that is most common in, in moisturizers in particular is water. And water is virtually useless for the skin. Water cannot penetrate the skin barrier. If it did, you would drown. If it did, when you took like a five minute shower in the morning, you wouldn't need to drink water during the day because your body would absorb the water from the shower as you're cleaning, right? So water has nothing, no, no use whatsoever for the skin. Uh, mild herme her hermectin effect, humectant effects, but that's it. Um, so really water is about uh, pulling a formula together, watering it down, getting everything to kind of lighten up a bit. Um, and it, it just, it's useless. It's really only for the formula itself. Um, and, and also to give the product bulk, right? Like a lot of products, if you took up the 60, 70% of water, you would just have like a little bit of product left in the jar. Water like builds it up. It's like, it's like adding, you know, there's, they're always adding like melon to a fruit salad, like those honeydew melons. Nobody wants a hundred pieces of honeydew melon and a fruit salad and three strawberries and two cherries and a few grapes. Like it's just because it's cheap and they, you know, they make the salad, the fruit salad look bigger. And so that's the kind of purpose of water. 
But anyway, this product, fascinating. 1% soothing centella, 1% uh, mastic oil, which is indigenous to, uh, I forgot the, I oh, Kaios in Greece. It's indigenous to Kairos, Kaios in Greece. It, it dates back to ancient Greece. In fact, it, it's a, it's a, mastic is a, sap, mastic oil is, 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 the, is drawn from the resin that, you know, like maple syrup that oozes out of, oozes out of the, the mastic tree. And it's called the, in Greek, the tears of Kaios because it, it drips down. Um, and it's a terrific anti, antiseptic, antimicrobial, um, uh, I forgot there, I feel like there were three antis, but no matter, it's really terrific for oily skin and, and unclogging pores. Um, it's astringent, I believe was the other thing. Um, so fantastic ingredient. In fact, all of these products, all of these moisturizers, all 10 of the moisturizers are, are good for oily skin or all skins in summer. I mean, see how I'm like all dewy? It's because I'm sweating. It's because I'm emitting oils and, and, and water from my skin. And so you lose all of that in the, in the, in the winter and I mean, I'm sorry, in the summer. And so you kind of want like, you want something lighter. You want humectants. You want, you know, uh, ingredients like dimethicone, um, and hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronic, things that, that, lock moisture in and in the case of dimethicone prevent water and oils from evaporating through the surface of the skin um, as you're sweating and going about your day in the heat um, and that's really what a lot of the moisturizers do but anyway 100 percent skin active you can't say that about any other product at least none that i've come across it's fantastic you can pick this up in three sizes if you just want to start out with a 15 ml product you're going to notice the difference immediately trust me uh, the 15 ml is $59, 30 ml is, mm, don't quote me, $99, and 50 ml I think is $149. Of course, as always, all of this information, inclu including the inkies on the products, links to buy the products, everything is always on my blog at skincarma.com. But the really distinguishing uh, difference about this product is that it has it has what the brand calls a uh, biolamellar structure that's based in plant lipids, and that biolamellar structure um, is close is is close in structure to the skin itself, like it just melds with the skin and it's drawn into the skin. And as it's drawn into the skin, because it melds with the skin and the skin barrier lets it pass, which isn't normally the case with ingredients, it brings the Bacuchiol, the Mastic, the Centella along with it. Um, the, there's aloe in here. It brings everything, sorry, everything along with it into the skin, which is amazing. That's not usually the case. I have hiccups from my migraine meds. Sorry about that. But anyway, it's it's amazing. And it has like a slight medicinal scent that's actually derived from that Greek mas mastic from the Tears of Kaios. Check that product out. It is by far one of the most innovative, scientifically innovative moisturizers I have ever come across. It's fascinating. All the products under the Clean Beauty Company's three brands are next level. Uh, so next up is the Inkyless Peptide Moisturizer, $14.99. You can't go wrong with this baby. $14.99. You get uh, two forms of peptides. There's a 2% concentration of what's called, uh, it's, it's a, it mimics royal jelly. What was it called? I can't remember. Uh, royal Epigen? Royal Epigen something. Royal Epigen P5 maybe? Um, and it's a, it's, a, it's a peptide that mimics royal jelly. And if you know anything about royal jelly, royal jelly is the nutritive substance, resin, honey-like substance, goo, that the worker bees feed to the queen in the beehive. And they, they, it, it uh, extends her lifespan. And so that peptide in here mimics um, royal jelly that allows the, the queen to do what she needs to do for a longer period. Um, and this stuff, for $14.99, you cannot go wrong. Like, seriously. I'm quickly losing hand space and I'm only two products in. 
it's nice. It's got uh, it's got a very very minimal oils in it. Uh, I believe there was sh there's shea butter in here. Um, it it's got uh, glycerin and dimethicone, if I remember correctly. Um, a lot of these pro a lot of the products, two of them actually are completely oil free, um, and this is pretty low in oils. And they use um, they use an occlusive uh, 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 effect to prevent water and moisture and moisture loss through the skin surface rather than adding more oils to your skin. Your skin isn't like dying for oils in, in the in the summer. It's just kind of sweating out some oil, but sweating mostly sweating out water. Um, in the in the winter, that's when you really need to worry when the dry skin around us sucks the oils and water out of our skin. Um, good stuff. $14.99. Again, check it out on the Skin Karma blog. Next up, with, I'm very excited about these, you guys, with my wooden disposable recyclable spatulas. No more of those plastic things. They were just terrible. I felt guilty every single time. Um, and when I lose them, drop them on the floor. Uh, so this baby, Ultra Repair Oil Control Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. Um, big fan of the brand. It's centered completely around skin sensitivity. Everything they do is about skin sensitivity. A lot of their, uh, one of their key ingredients in their formulas is colloidal oatmeal, really tried and true. There's entire brands built around colloidal oatmeal. In fact, if you know the brand of Vino in the United States, um, a Vino comes from the Latin word for oat. A, ve a Venus, a ve Venus it's a kernel, whatever. I don't need to, I took five years of Latin and we never studied anything about oats, trust me. Um, so oil-free, oil control moisturizer, ultra repair oil control moisturizer. Think of this product as, as, as providing an occlusive benefit that prevents transepidermal trans water loss. It is less moisturizer and more about mattifying um, and preventing, preventing water and moisture loss. Uh, it's 32 bucks, super lightweight. This is more of a conventional gel cream, honestly. Um, and again, it has something that the brand calls, um, oil absorbing microspheres. And so I guess I'm gonna put it here. So you see, it's a gel cream texture, really, really, really light. It feels watery. There's no oil in here. Um, dimeth there's got, it's got dimethicone and uh, uh, sodium hyaluronic acid, which is uh, more compatible with the skin. It's a salt form of hyaluronic acid. Um, and it's really effective at, at locking water in the skin and preventing water loss. Um, so that's fab. I, if you didn't catch my blog article a couple of weeks ago on First Aid Beauty, you can still catch it. Um, a whole rundown of the brand, all about how, how and why the brand is focused on skin sensitivity. Um, it's really a fantastic moisturizer. Uh, fa fantastic gel cream moisturizer. If you're into that, if that's the kind of thing you like during the summer, it's it's it. Next is another brand that did not exist last summer. In fact, this brand did not exist last month. It's called Selfish. Uh, it's really centered around um, delivering um, skincare to address the needs of, of a man's skin. Men's skin tends to be um, more oily than a woman's, a woman's skin. I don't necessarily believe in men's skincare per se. Um, this is just a fantastic uh, moisturizer for all skin types and all, um, all genders, all skin genders. And how dope is that name? Come on now, Selfish? It's genius, it's genius. Um, so, oil-free moisturizer. It's got uh, what the brand calls a vitamin boost. It's a vitamin complex of uh, Panthenol B5. Uh, it's got vitamin C in it. It's got vitamin E, moisturizing vitamin E, and it's got um, the retinol alternative, uh, the alternative form of vitamin A, Bakuchiol. 
Um, and paired with that, there is a gentle acid complex, um, two kinds of acids, uh, poly, po po polyhydroxy acid in the form of gluconolactone, and there are three alpha hydroxy acids, citric acid, malic acid, and mandelic acid. Um, and they're all gentle acids. They need to be gentle acids because this is a daily moisturizer, right? And you don't want to overdo it with, um, with exfoliation every day by applying acids to your face. But uh, super gentle. It has a, a similar, maybe a little bit heavier consistency uh, actually, it has pretty much the same consistency as the, the peptide moisturizer from the Inky list. Really nice. I need this on my neck. Really nice and lightweight. It goes for 20 bucks. In fact, the entire seven product range uh, from Selfish, it's a superbly democratically priced brand just like the inky list uh not as uh inexpensive as the ordinary nobody really gets there um but this baby is uh a whopping twenty dollars seven products in the range uh range in price from twelve dollars to i believe 25 27 something like that um you can buy the entire seven product range for just north of a hundred dollars I mean, and they're all fantastic products. Um, full disclosure, I actually advised on the formulas and have advised on the brand and the packaging um, over the course of the last two years. I'm super proud of this brand um, and the brand's founders. Um, a really incredible achievement. So check out the blog, check out Selfish. Again, links on the blog. I'll actually put the links in the YouTube comments. I don't know why I always forget that I do that. Um, but that's all there. So amazing. It's got some ferulic acid in it, actually, which I love because that helps to deliver even more antioxidant uh, defense during the day. It also, fer ferulic acid, I joke, is, is vitamin C's stabilizing BFF. Ferulic acid and vitamin E actually uh, help to stabilize vitamin C in a formula. Uh, I think that's kind of it that I wanted to mention about this product. There's also some uh, um, uh, sodium hyaluronic acid um, to act as a uh, humectant, and there's dimethicone in here as well to, again, provide a, an occlusive effect that presents, prevents moisture and water loss. And last up, guys, is another new brand. This is called Foyette. You can't actually see the name on the bottle. Uh, the product's called Fresh Intensive Cream. It is so watery and delicious. Like, I'm gonna just jump right to the texture. This is a conventional gel cream. It reminds me very much, if you're familiar with Laneige's Water Bank, it's, it's that. It, like, it breaks, it feels like, it feels like water on the skin. I love this stuff. This is like perfect for a really hot summer day. You know, you don't want to put any skincare on. I'm up here. You don't want to put any skincare on at all. And this just, this just really does it. Look, I love the texture of this stuff. Uh, there's sodium uh, hyaluronic acid in here as well. There's centella. Um, I can't remember what percent. There's 5% niacinamide. So niacinamide, very high, very high up on the, uh, on the inky for a terrific brightening benefit. And also, if you're not aware, niacinamide is also uh, one of the best ingredients for unclogging pores to keep skin fresh. So if you have acne prone skin, if you have sensitive skin, um, if you don't want anything too heavy, this new Foyette Fresh Intensive Cream is fantastic. Like seriously, I'm completely infatuated with it. I, would, I didn't know what to expect, you know, because it's a it's a new brand. Um, but anyway, there's also uh, beta glucan in this product, and I love when brands are really smart and put beta glucan in a in a formula. It's just Paula's Choice, the Paula's Choice research team classifies beta glucan as one of the best uh, skincare ingredients for a product. Um, it's again a polysaccharide sugar. It has antioxidant benefit. It's got humectant benefits. Um, it's derived from yeast and oats, but what's really cool about it, unlike uh, hyaluronic acid, it has a, 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 the ability to soothe redness 
and skin irritation. Um, it's just a fantastic ingredient. Every product should have beta-glucan in it, tr 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 to be quite real. Um, that's it, guys. Boom. Five summer-friendly moisturizers. Check it out on the blog, skincarma.com. And guess what? Of course, I'm doing a giveaway. One lucky uh, winner, one lucky member of the Skin Karma community is going to win all five of these moisturizers. So all you need to do to enter is, is go to the bottom, to the, in the comments here, go to my blog, comment on my blog if you'd like, um, why you wanna win, why it's important to you, what's different about summer, whatever, like get creative. And then head over to my IG page and find the post about the giveaway, which is coming tomorrow. Um, and comment done, that's it. $200 value, all five of these products. Well, there's another set, this is my five. It's mine. These are mine. Um, like I need five moisturizers, I'm how ridiculous. Uh, anyway, that's it. I hope you're all good. I hope you're having a great week. Check out the blog, skincarma.com. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. You can't, like, this is bomb. Seriously, it's bomb. Come on. All right, catch you later.